Right, uh, we have Dr. Tuyi Mebawondu. Good morning and thanks for joining us and uh, compliments of the season. Merry Good Christmas. morning. Nice to see you. Christmas to you. All right, uh, add, you know, just to add to the figures we've just reeled out, only 2.9% of Nigeria's annual budget in the last uh, three years as against uh, Afri South Africa's 13 point, uh, you know, percent to 15% in the same period. Uh, the, 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 what I, this means is that in the last three years, Nigeria has consistently spent uh, less than 3% you know, of the national budget on health, as opposed to countries like South Africa, where they've act actually achieved 15%. Uh, 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 Talk to us. Uh, yes, um, if you're looking at your health budget, first of all, you want to look at the determinants that actually um, drive the amount of money you need to budget for your health. Mm -hmm. Now, your economic direction should be a determinant. The human capital development direction should be a determinant of your health budget. The disease burden should be a determinant of the health budget. The, the epidemiological statistics of your country, are you having um, um, uh, flare-ups in terms of uh, epidemics? You know, and then the other thing is that, what is your aspiration? in terms of health in how many years. All this is you feed into the health budget for us to be able to actually grow. Because if you're not dealing with those things, you cannot grow. Mm -hmm. As an economy, 18 years ago, yeah, there yeah, about 18 years ago, Nigeria hosted AU and declared unequivocally that they're putting as much as 15% into the health budget, mm -hmm. okay? Now, but despite that, We've seen that, like you rightly pointed out, it was only in 2012 that we had above 5% mm -hmm. in health budget. So definitely, you are not going to get the, the desired health outcomes because the amount of money you are putting to your health is just too so significant. So what you're saying, what you've just said, if I could you know, pick out between the lines, is it depends on what the government's plan for each Nigerian is health-wise that determines what they are lost to the health sector. It, it should be because and then when everybody we, we, the, the meeting was to actually assess what the minimum amount needed to drive health mm -hmm. uh, to the level of economic growth to the level of good human capital yes. to the level of that the, where that disease burden can be lowered okay. mm -hmm. but that is what that was what we're saying now that we are not surprised again that you're seeing nigeria presently where the poverty capital of the world, mm -hmm. we have the, contributing the, one of the largest number to infant mortality, and maternal, maternal mortality. We are the leader, we are the second largest country with number of children with HIV AIDS. We are one of the greatest with the burden of tuberculosis. These are huge issues. There are so huge un unmet gaps in family planning where the world capital of malnutrition. So all these things, if you put them together, you don't understand that why the budget cannot do what we expect it to be done. Nigeria spent an average of $1 billion in medical tourism. Yeah. That is a huge amount of money. We are having flares of epidemics every time. We've just moved from meningitis. We're going to Lassa Viva. Mm. We're coming to cholera. The yellow fever. These, these yellow are fever. key issues that you know, should determine the budget and what you but this, this the 365 billion I, I wonder how much that is going to do let, let us assume a huge percentage of yes that, uh, is Mike, going to recur exactly we have just, billion, billion, just, just 50, 50, 50, 50, okay. 50 billion let, let us assume that that 50 billion naira or 50 billion exactly is released totally to the health sector what can it really do in the, in the health uh, Mike, sector? Mike let, let me break that 50 billion down okay. of course let's agree that the consolidated uh, revenue fund mm. we are going to have one percent the nhs uh, uh, um, the national health act mm. allows that uh, that amounts another 50 billion okay that one is supposed to use for packaging basic health care delivery mm. you know the most of the money is going to be domiciled the national primary health care development agencies mm. and maybe some amount for emergency that's all after that let me break down the 50 billion now immunization okay it's going to nigeria is just budgeting 20 million, uh, 20 billion for immunization. And immunization, got, we, we, we need about 90 to 100 billion to immunize the children at the rate of about $34 per person, you know, per year. And Nigeria is having 7.4 million births yearly. 
So where are you going to get the gap? Where are you going to get the money to fill in the gap? 80 billion. You know, that's one. Uh, secondly, you have, the part of the money is going to global, um, global health. There is the other areas that are driving the treatment of tuberculosis, malaria, and some other diseases, and HIV. So now, that one is going to take another uh, as much as $18 billion. So where is the money remaining? Now, where is our package? How are you going to fund malnutrition? 33% of Nigeria children are malnourished. Out of that, 500,000 is dying every year. The basic thing to package and deal with that is not available. Nigeria's birth rate is, you know, scandalously high. Mm. Now, you need to, there's a commitment of about 100 million, that's, that's close to 30, 40 billion uh, naira. We are supposed to commit to family planning. But here we are, where is the money going to come from? How are we going to fund the counterpart money? Part of the so-called 50 billion is going to be used to fund chemotherapy care. Now, cancer is not the only thing that's rising in Nigeria. Diabetes is rising, hypertension is rising. Mm -hmm. We are still confronted mm. with high number of people that die from heart diseases. So again, what is the budget you know, uh, determinant? What are, what are we doing to budget and ensure that we minimize those impact? But if we're doing all this and we're parroting um, big economy in so so years, we're joking because without significant input into health, we can't do much. Mm. And if you look at the state across the state, because again, don't, don't let, let's take our eyes, not, don't, don't let us focus our eyes on federal government alone. The we're state. having exactly. the state yeah. government, mm -hmm. we're having the local Even government. The local government okay, yeah. now, who are supposed to actually deliver this basic primary health yes. care package to Nigeria? Now, out of all these states, last year, um, Ka um, yeah, yeah, Kano was, Birchu was able to do 15% mm. for, their for their health budget. Mm. Kano did 13%, uh, 12%, and Kwara did another 11%. Apart from these Will two states. Will that cover the gap? No, 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 no. Okay. These are at the level. We don't mm. ever cover the gap. At the level of their states. At, at the level Just of their, their states. states. Mm. Now, uh, out of, uh, the rest of the states are between 2 and 8%. Mm. Yours truly, Lagos did 8%. for their, So again, are you not surprised that this is what we are witnessing? Mm. Now, we've seen as much as 54 trillion budgeted since the advent of democracy. But all we are getting is peanuts. It's tokenism for health. So, don't be surprised. We we'll still mm. keep seeing out-of-pocket expenses. We we'll still keep seeing people patronizing quacks mm. because they cannot afford health. Yeah. We we'll see people running to churches and their religious leader to look for miracle because. So, they in other health. words, it's we should expect the same thing come 2019 because nothing has changed no, fundamentally it's, it's as far as budget for health of is concerned. Unmet gaps, mm. you know, in, in the meantime. About $677 billion has been made from crude oil sales since 1999. That's, that's a lot. Mm. Thank you very All much. Right. Thank you very much My pleasure, for joining us. Dr. Tui Mebaung, uh, enjoy your Christmas. <laughs> I will try. If you can. <laughs> the food, the cost of the food. <laughs>